What is a contactor? Well, let's see a scenario where we have to run a motor using a PLC output signal. We cannot directly connect motor with the PLC. Hence, we need a contactor to apply three phase voltage to the motor. A 24 volt DC signal is applied to the contactor coil to energize it. When a 24 volt DC signal is applied to the coil, it turns on the contactor and closes the power contacts of the contactor. And three phase voltage is applied to the motor via contactor contact and motor gets started. Let's see what's inside a contactor. Contactor have a fixed magnetic iron core which is a non-moving part. Moving magnetic core which is a moving part fixed non-moving contacts and moving contacts which are connected to the magnetic iron core and a coil which is used to energize the contactor. When control voltage is applied to the coil, the iron core becomes an electromagnet and it attracts the moving part of the iron core towards it. It shorts the fixed and the moving contacts of the contactor. When 24 volt DC signal is turned off, it de-energizes the coil and contacts moves away from each other. Now let's see the working of the contactor. Three phase voltage lines will be connected to the input terminals of the contactor and motor will be connected to the output terminals of the contactor. When voltage is applied to the contactor coil, its iron core becomes an electromagnet. It attracts the moving contacts of the contactor towards it. Because of this movement, the moving contact and the stationary contacts gets connected to each other. Thus allows the current to flow through these contacts and motor starts to run. As the contactor coil is de-energized by removing the control voltage, the power contacts of the contactor moves away from each other. Thus breaks the path of the current flow and motor stops. So this is how a contactor works and what's inside it. I hope you like it. Please subscribe, share and like it. Till next video, take care and goodbye.